Welcome to a brand new podcast, as always. This is the Oracle 19, and my name is Greatness. For any business inquiries, uh, you can email us if you want to put your brand on this podcast. You can email us at evolution of Lon- evolutionoflondon at gmail.com. So there you can... Uh, Send us your questions and we can uh, set that up for you. If you want to put your brand or business on the platform, just email us. Same email if you want to make a free will offering to, through our PayPal account. That's evolutionoflondon at gmail.com. Once again, the Oracle 19 podcast usually is on Monday and Thursdays. We have twice a week. So, Usually morning time, Mondays and Thursdays for the Oracle 19 podcast. You can shop online to our baby shopping mall, which is www.evolutionoflondon.com. There we have a whole wide range of products, men's, kids, uh, women clothing, house products, jewelry, artwork, etc., furniture, a whole wide range pretty much over 20,000 products, so definitely check that out. Our other e- uh, other website, excuse me, is www.evolutionoflondon.org O-R-G. There we have custom clothing, accessories, digital products as well. Finally, www.evolutionoflondon.store S-T-O-R-E. There we have accessories, shea butter, soaps, African soaps to be specific, movies, etc. So definitely check us out. We, we ship all throughout North America. Check out the company Royalty 9 International. That's a luxury candle company where they have 100% natural soy can, uh, wax and scented as well as unscented candles, 12 ounces. Uh, the scented candles are peppermint, frankincense, Jasmine, Rose, Eucalyptus, just to name a few. So definitely check that out and support www.evolution, I'm oh sorry, www.royalty9international.com. Music by Cheap Limousine. Cheap Limousine channel is on YouTube. They have a whole wide range of different beats. Definitely support, like, subscribe, and share his brand. And from there, once you go to his social media, well, his uh, YouTube page, you will find other social media sites. So definitely support Cheap Limousine Channel on YouTube. And continue, continue on YouTube. Greatness 19 Channel. That's our educational channel. Over 360 videos. I have a whole wide range of educational videos to open up your third eye. So definitely listen to them. It's a lot to listen to, a lot of educational videos. And definitely like, subscribe, and share to the Greatness 19 channel, as well as Mr. Evolution of London. That's our health and wellness channel, a whole wide range of videos. So definitely like, subscribe, and share. And uh, piggybacking with Royalty 9 International, they also have a TikTok page, which is Royalty 9. So definitely support that. I, I forgot to mention about that. Support them as well. As well as Instagram, Royalty 9 International. We have different links to other affiliates, so check out www.linktree.com forward slash evolution of London. 
So, and we do have a Patreon channel as well that we have videos, digital products, consulting services. It's now on YouTube. So definitely check out patreon.com forward slash evolution of London. Support Irie Bites Cafe, located downtown London, Ontario. Uh, Caribbean takeout. They deliver all throughout all throughout London, and they do uh, catering as well all throughout London. They open Monday, Tuesdays, twelve to six. They close on Wednesdays. Reopen Thursdays and Saturdays, twelve to six as well. They located 91 Wellington Street North, London, Ontario. Their telephone number is 519-858-4743. They accept all forms of major payments, including Interact, MasterCard, Visa, and please note that taxes are not included. You can also check them out online, www.irebytes.ca, that's I-R-I-E, I-R-I-E Bytes, B-I-T-E-S, dot C-A, and for info, info at irebites.ca and there is a big festival in London, Ontario which is going to be held July 7th through the 10th at Victoria Park that's in downtown London where you will find Ari Bites there it's called the Sun Fest so it's a big festival definitely every year so you definitely want to check that out if you're in the local area or even uh, pretty much as far as far as from Toronto to Windsor. So definitely go to travel to London, Ontario for the day and enjoy the Sun Festival. And also you'll find Ari Bites in that location as well. So definitely support their brand and they have great food. So definitely go and check that out. Ari Bites Cafe will be at the Sun Fest, and that's July 7th to the 10th at Victoria Park, downtown London. Mr. Will, he's been a fitness for a fitness consultant for over 15 years. So if you want to book a consultation, email him at willysfitness99 at gmail.com. That's willys, W-I-L-L-Y-Z, fitness99 at gmail.com. And also support his merchandise, www.wjaaccessories.org, O-R-G, where they have custom clothing, accessories, as well as digital products. So definitely support his brand as well. And the Oracle 19 podcast is on all major platforms. We are on Anchor.fm, Google, Apple, Spotify, Amazon Music, just to name a few. So any information that I haven't mentioned, just check out the description box of the Oracle 19 podcast, Mr. Evolution of London, as well as Greatness 19 channel. So definitely like, subscribe, and share, and pass the information worldwide. Okay, well, today, as always, I always give you my perspective of what I like to talk about. And today we're going to talk about is heterosexual rights being infringed? Is heterosexual rights being infringed? Again, I give you my perspective. To some ways, some degree, yes. Because as you know, uh, the question you have to ask yourself, I tie it into the gay agenda. Is it is it a gay agenda? You know, this month, basically celebrating, you know, Pride Month and Pride Week, basically carrying over from, you know, it's mentioned this month and it's going to be pushed even a little bit next month. And it's a big thing within the gay community. And LGBTQ to the fifth power. You know, I, I, I don't really keep up with all of that. And But let's put this out here. I don't... If you gay, knock yourself out. You're not bothering me, I'm not bothering you. 
Let's put that out there. I don't have in my mind that I want to inflict violence on you. And I'm sure you don't want to inflict violence on me. So let's put that out there. Establish that out there right off the top. So nobody can say, I hate... And I want to inflict pain. Everything is nope, nope, nope. I like my life as a heterosexual man. I live my life. You live your life. Now, here where it gets dicey. Do you, as a gay person, have rights to infringe your belief system on me. Do you think you have a right to infringe your beliefs on me and mine? That's my question. Now, I have a perspective. What is it, greatness? My perspective is, in today's modern society, the powers that be want to push a gay agenda to infringe their belief systems on me and mine. Why I believe me and mine, family, friends, foe. Well, my loved ones, I should put it that way. And I don't think that's right. Matter of fact, I know it's not right. Because as soon as heterosexuals, they push their Opinions and say, well, I don't want gay people to work for me. Let's say we just throw that. Oh, whoa, whoa. There's, there's a problem. Big problem. So, why is it? And I have a question, and I'm going to have many questions on this show. Why is it transgenders? Are they allowed? Do you think it's okay for them to? teach the babies at school but here here's the interesting part the transgender community will say well we should be able to work wherever whenever or wherever we want to work okay okay now do you have a right to push your sexuality on the babies That's the question. That's when things get dicey. That's where it's pushback. Because a lot of times, in my opinion, the transgender gay community want to push their sexuality on the babies. Oh, it's okay. You know, no, uh, you know, it's okay for you to be one. It, it's, it's okay. Who gave you the right to tell my kids, or I, I'm just using that as an example, that it's okay? Why... Who gave you the right to give your opinion to my children? Or the children for that matter. That is okay. I'm not taking calls right now. You hardly never take calls until after I finish. (laughs) But that is something that I look at. That's where it gets dicey. And a lot of times you get that push, you get that, that indirect low key push to the heterosexual community. So now the heterosexual community will feel infringed, feel their rights are being taken because indirectly the gay community is being overbearing. And when I use talk about gay in this case, Forgive me because I'm using that for the whole community. Lesbians, that's just my terminology. When I gay, whether you're lesbian, trans, whatever that, I just, I'm putting it in the pot. So if I'm coming out as offensive for not breaking down each and every sector, forgive me. Because I, I'm, I'm just cutting my words, so to speak. And what I mean is I'm just short, trying to shorten it a little bit. So I'm, when I say gay, I'm talking about just the group itself. Okay? So forgive me if i not breaking down the lesbian community. The bi, tri, you know, I, I, 
it's not enough time in my brain to, to do that. I got to keep going. So forgive me for that. But pushing back. Oh, uh, well, getting to the topic about pushing, infringing the hero- heterosexual rights. I believe, in my opinion, it is being infringed indirectly, low key, quietly. Now, a lot of people say, no, because gays getting beat up and all that stuff. I get it. Not saying it should be, uh, you know, violence should occur. I'm not even talking about that. But to push that within the babies. Yeah, I have a major problem with that. Now, I noticed throughout North America, flags is being put up to celebrate. And that's dicey. You, and what I mean by that is, is a gray area because there's people that is offended by seeing the gay flag. And then there's put on the other way, people saying it's okay because I should promote who I am. And the city, the local, state, government, uh, federal, and province, so forth, should acknowledge that. So it is being acknowledged. You see in a lot of towns, streets is being painted in rainbow colors. You see rainbow flags. And and then people is dancing and partying. And, and, and it is what it is. So people is saying that we should accept that. We should accept that. Now, my question is, is the rights of heterosexuals being infringed on the basis of, of it being in your face? Some people will say yes. Some people will say no. But you do have people heterosexuals that saying it's seeing it is infringing is they feel infringed because it's being put in their face like you got to take it here it's for the whole public to see here we all know here's a reality some there are heterosexual men and women that don't want to see the flag right in their face. And they do feel offended to see what you think it should be a man marching in a dress, parading down the street, switching and twitching. And here as a heterosexual, you have your male child and female child beside you and you got to see a man in the dress twitching. So that's offensive to certain heterosexual men and women. They don't want to see that and they don't want their babies to see that because they're trying to separate this is a man, this is a woman. That's how they have that's how they have it constructed in their house. Now on the flip side, gays will say, well, it's a public and freedom of speech and freedom to do whatever I want and be me and free. So you you have that pushback, but I'm gonna give you and, and then, oh, don't forget, the local and city governments think it's okay. No problem. Because they got rights. So parade. They could parade and switch and, t- and twitch. And they not hurt nobody. They just promoting themselves being me and free. See, it's interpretations with everything. And if we can go deeper in the rabbit hole. Now, I'm going to get deeper. And it's going to be triggering. Now, if you have... 
Let's say, for example, let's start with this. Let's say it be a heterosexual parade. And let's say they march and they have their signs, heterosexual rights. We should be me and free. We got the right to express ourselves. We have the right to protect our children in schools. We don't want to see homosexuals in schools because we feel it's it's offensive to us. It's infringing our rights. And it's also, we feel it's destroying our babies mentally. It's confusing them. So if we, if we heterosexuals put that out there and we start parading or we start talking about that, is that wrong? Is that right? See, we get dip, deeper in the rabbit hole because there's opinions that go both, both ways. So should you bash heterosexuals that have that philosophy? We're not hurting nobody. We're not, per se, we're not causing violence. Just a a honest march. An honest conversation. We don't want to see it. We don't want our children being confused. The ones that we birth. Is that wrong? Is that wrong to have that ideology? Now on the flip side, people say it's a big melting pot. You got to be able to accept everything. Okay, if I accept everything, can you accept me and my philosophy? If I got to accept your philosophy, can you accept my philosophy? So what conclusions, how we can come to conclusions so it protects mine, my own children? See, right now, you, you see, if for little babies, heterosexual babies in the making, they, they are, we, we as heterosexual parents people trying to keep a certain agenda for our own so is that wrong is that wrong for us to have to raise our children that way we're not saying cause violence to homosexuals don't killing them or anything whatever the case i i don't co-sign for that but can we Do you think we should have that? Do you think we have a right to feel that way? That our rights are being infringed? Because a lot of times heterosexuals, a lot of them are religious. Whether it's Muslim, Jew, Christian. And within their belief system, they believe that the Lord especially in the book of Leviticus, talk about homosexuality is a sin. And they stand on that. So are they wrong? Or if, if a heterosexual believes in his Bible or her Bible and teach their children, but then blatantly they have transgender teachers or homosexual teachers that push their agenda. We're not talking about just teaching face value, just straight teaching. Push their agenda. Could be quietly. For example, they teach and you you teach them children straight and narrow, but let's say on their desks, they might put their belief system on their desk to show their gay pride the rainbow flag is that low key pushing the agenda now homosexuals will say we, I'm just showing gay pride but you're a teacher when you're a teacher you have to have a neutral ideology just only teach from the a program that is given to you this is what I'm thinking. So you see how we getting deeper in the rabbit hole of opinions of people and perspectives of people. Who's right, who's wrong. Now I have my feelings, but I'm just going to explain 
the diff I'm just asking questions and giving different perspectives on both sides of the fence. But as a whole as a heterosexual, as a heterosexual male, some things are offensive to me. A lot of things is offensive to me. A lot of things are offensive. And actually, to even get deeper, it could be it, it, it could be debatable that all things is de- is is debatable with me, because or offensive to me. Excuse me, because I roll in a certain way as a one hundred percent man, and it's just hard for me. But I'm civil though. I'm civil to people. I'm civil to people because you civil to me, I'm civil to you. I'm not going to be an animal, I right? Because we are out here. But it just don't, I'm, my brain is not wired. A man is a man and a woman is a woman. I, it, when it start getting confusing, woman, a woman could be a woman on a Monday and a, and a Tuesday she could be a man and a, a Wednesday she don't know, binary. And then Thursday she, she's a maybe and Friday is a could be. And then Saturday is for I, I I go with both parties. And then Sunday you go to church. That that uh, that's confusing for me. And I find that more and more because nowadays there's a whole list of different sexualities. And it started out you're a man, you're a woman. Now you you're a bisexual, trisexual, uh polysexual here and 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 maybe it's a lot of terminologies and that's confusing for me and that brings confusion if it's confusing for me imagine the babies so yeah it becomes offensive to me do I have a right to be offended if I say I'm offended Am I wrong? Are you going to persecute me for saying I'm offended? That's my question. Do I have a right to be offended? Do I have the freedom to say I'm offended? This is what this is. So that's why I say that the question is raised is heterosexual rights being infringed. Because now we deal with perspectives. Whose perspectives is right and who perspectives are wrong? Or is it just everybody is right? So now we have more confusion. So people are going to say, we just love everyone. Just, you know, after we have no answers, we just say, oh, we just love. I don't believe in, you can't love everybody. Let's go in the animal kingdom. So let's say, so I believe in everybody. I love everybody. I'm just using this analogy. So I should love a hungry tiger. Because it's a tiger. Because we are part of the animal kingdom in one way or another, human beings. So I say I should love the tiger, a hungry tiger that wants to eat me. I just should love it because it's love. No, I should be aware and it, I'm not going to put my hand in a cage with a hungry tiger. I know it's going to snap and eat me or kill me. See, we digging deeper in this rabbit hole. It, it becomes more confusing. And I don't like to live a life of confusion, personally. I like to live in a life of clarity to the best of my ability. And I know life not all the time could be clear. But if you if you have an opportunity to make life clear, you know, why are you going to just go the opposite direction? Again, see how it's just it gets deeper and confusing because of this question. Now, the homosexual community will say, well, you shouldn't have a problem with the flags being flown because they're not bothering you. It's just blowing in the sky. Okay? So if children are around, they ask questions, 
I could give them the answer, but you know, quil- children is inquisitive. They're going to say, why the flags is out there? How the flags are out there? Who is it for? Is it for men? Is it for women? Who is it for? So now you got to go deep in the rabbit hole and then tell them, well, you know, there's certain men out here, uh, men that likes other men, and then there's men that likes women. <laughs> There's, there's women, I mean, excuse me, there's men that likes to dress up like women on a certain day, and then on another day they change back up, and, and you know, and, and then there's men that like men and women. This is what you got to explain on a minute scale when a child is asking you. It could start with just the flag. Now, people's going to say, well, if it's a little kid, why should you even have to bother explaining? No, of course you don't have to. Let's not be simple. We don't have to ask or explain to the child, break it down like that. But it's conversations, depending on the age, we have to teach them on a certain level and we got to break down this confusion. Because to me, in my opinion, is confusion. And confusion, in my perspective, is infringing my rights. How? How? If you corrupting, if you corrupting, if the potential of my children being corrupted the way I teach them and I'm, when I'm saying myself I'm just speaking general to all the homosexual, I mean heterosexual families if I have to try to break this down and then the more I break down to them they become more if, uh, confused and they seen it all in the schools. The agenda, in my opinion, is being pushed to the even the babies. That that's why you, in my opinion, you even have young girls and boys that is nine, eight years old being pushed to saying they are bisexual and trisexual, and then they dealing with my children. And it, again, it just becomes more confusing. And even to, to show you this agenda, I, I, in my opinion, because they have I just recently uh, the first tran- transgender, I would say transgender, uh, transgender um, Barbie doll or Ken doll, one of the two. So, the doll babies is being transgendered. Then they, the babies, they, they have outfits that is for neutral, classified as neutral, not male or female. They got toys they pushing for the babies that is trans. Or gay. So, my question is is that infringement? Is that infringement? And why that has, why is so, why people are so he- hell over bent to have clothing, baby clothing, dolls, toys in general, cartoons? Homosexual characters. Why is so hell over bent to have that on TV? Why? When you know the babies is watching this, why is so hell over bent for signs and symbols secretly to be put on cartoon shows and Disney shows on hetero or, or excuse me. I got to slow it down on homosexual behavior. 
in cartoons. Why is that pushed? Why is it so necessary? Isn't this a sign of, of infringement? Is it really necessary to have toys pushing the homosexual agenda? Is it really necessary to have the clothes? I can keep going on and on. But isn't this infringement? It goes right back to my question. Is heterosexual rights being infringed? In my opinion, yes. My opinion. Look, I've been getting phone calls and and I'm getting messages pouring in as we speak. So, this is why you have a lot of offended men and women that is heterosexuals, in my opinion. Because we are getting bombarded. And it's not only us that we're looking at, it's our children. Especially people that is highly religious. So if they if you got men and women that's highly religious and follow their Bible hardcore, they believe in the Bible, they believe in the scriptures hardcore. So if they seeing these things in the street or they see in the schools or they seeing it in society, that's offensive. What the government is doing for them. My opinion, nothing. We just got to take it and accept it and accept it with our babies. And if we say anything, all of a sudden, social media, if you have social media platforms, you're going to be banned. You'll be ostracized. Your social media won't be promoted. You'll be what they call shadow banned. Which won't surprise me if this segment will be shadow banned. And I'm not saying anything wrong. I'm giving my perspective. I'm giving a perspective. I give even gave perspective on both sides. I'm not bringing out I hate. I'm not bringing out I want I inflict violence. All of it is none of none of the above. None of the above. But I'm just giving perspective. And just because I give a perspective, guarantee it will be a problem. Because I'm just giving my perspective of what I feel heterosexuals have to accept and go through, and it's not right. Because if you're going to, if it's pushback, if you're giving, if you're trying to just push, push, push the agenda, the homosexual agenda. What about if it's the other way around? What about those people that is highly religious? I thought this, I mean, if you want to give equal rights and stuff like that, okay, then should be across the board. Now, people will say, well, heterosexuals have rights too. Depends, question mark. And you because what I just gave you examples, that's not rights. That's bombardment. That's pushing your that's being pushy. Especially when you have in cartoons. Especially when you have in toys. Especially when you have it in in and uh in clothing at a very young age. We're not even talking about teenagers, we're talking about it's pushed. When these babies are zero to four years old. When their brains are not even developed yet. That's not right. You can't tell me that's right. Gay or, gay or not gay. You can't say it's right for a homosexual to push their agenda on a baby zero to four. You can't tell me saying that's right. <laughs> You put your, my, your point of view on my child, and I have to accept that. That's It'd be my child, but I have to accept that. 
That's not right. That's my child. And when I'm using my child, I'm speaking of heterosexuals out here that will feel the same certain way. How are you going to tell... How are you going to be able to push your agenda on that person's child? What gives you that right? What gives you that right? See, so... Something... This is a, a big issue. And... And the way the world is going, yes, uh, it, in my opinion, there is a, a gay agenda. But I could get on that on a different show. But people have been asking me about talking about this. So that's why I'm talking about it. So something to think about. At the end of the day, I'm not trying to be I'm not trying to be offensive, but I'm just give, uh, giving a perspective. So choice is yours. Just something to think about. Thank you for listening.